Hello again. Okay, um, it's been quite a while since my last video and I said that I was going to do this, but I haven't gotten a chance to it because of school. Oh well. Here it is. So yeah, just like the last video, use some um, thick paper like cardstock or index card like I'm using. You're going to need some tape and scissors. So yeah, um, here's some, here's the measurements. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Three quarters, one inch, anyways, that's three quarters, this is one inch, that is three eighths from here to here, three eighths from here to here is one inch, just makes it easier, you can, you can, um, just, when you're making this box, you just draw the one inch box, and one inch by three fourths inch box and um, you can um, make a line from here to here five eighths or from here to here three eighths either one and you'll have um, these two boxes from here to here is five eighths from here to here five eighths and um, this is also five eighths this is three eighths this is an inch this is an inch and this is an inch so yeah Five eighths, five eighths, three eighths, inch, inch, inch. Anything that's on this side also applies to this side. So yeah, let's get cutting. If you don't get something, go ahead and post it in the comments. I'll raise this up so you can see better. I know it's hard to see. But whatever, you'll be able to see the shape as soon as I'm done. If somehow I get the chance, I will have a template in the description. If, if I somehow am able to make one, though. So that'll make it a lot easier for people with cardstock and plain will make it a lot easier. trash now some final cuts just to finish off the shape now it's a very weird shape looks like one of those ninja turtle dagger thingies so yeah you'll get something that looks like this and if you forgot the measurements I mentioned it earlier so now you're gonna be folding it
This last one's a little hard to do. Matter of fact, I think that. Yeah. Never mind. I'm gonna. This one, you have to fold it back. Because it's gonna be like that. Then this one, you fold it up. So, yeah. There we go. So when it's going to be taped, it'll be like this. So yeah, let's get started. We better start taping. Now, don't just discard the scissors yet, okay? Because they will be very useful. You see, we'll start from right here. And just like in the last video, you fold it over and cut off the access tape. And again, more tape. This tape is pretty cool. I can see my fingerprints on it. I know the tape is very hard to see in the camera. It's a lot easier for me to see in real life because, you know, it's real life. So you do get the gist of it, right? Just keep taping it and taping it until you get this shape. The last one will be hard though. You will have to you know to tape put tape here, here and here at the same time. Matter of fact, it'll be even easier if you put it on the inside here around right on the inside. Put tape here, here and here and just closing it up just like that. It will close up very nicely and it'll it'll look seamless. So when the piece is done, it'll look something like this. Let's see if I can find the finished piece. There it is. It'll look like that after you're done taping it. I didn't I didn't finish it because we're almost out of time. But just explaining it really fast. You're not going to be using tape for this because tape won't hold as strongly. You're going to be instead using glue. You're going to put a little bit of, like, use a glue sticky glue right there and right there. And you, you sort of center it on here. Only leaving, um, just a little bit, just a little bit of space here. Okay? just until the halfway mark here and you have to center it okay center it and this should go to the halfway mark so thank you for watching bye